Time to check out the art scene in North Oklahoma City. It is time to talk some Paseo on the program. Why we are joined by Visions in the Paseo owner Glenn Fillmore to tell us about not only the first Friday that is coming up, big event down in that arts community, but also his newest exhibition. So let's join Glenn Fillmore in studio to tell us about what's shaken at Visions in the Paseo. Now it is a photography studio, Glenn. Yes, it is. And I know a very little bit about photography, but I know when it comes to photography, it's all about light. Yes. You have to wait for that specific time of day, get that specific angle. Everything's about the light mm -hmm. uh, and, the, and the photographer's eye. Mm -hmm. He's got to catch that light, he's got to see it, mm -hmm. and then he's got to capture it. And I imagine that has something to do with your new show. A little bit. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's called Focus on Light. See, there you go. Funny how you led right into that. I, I segued yeah, as much as I possibly excellent could. Excellent job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell me about it. Focus on Light. Uh, focus, obviously, the uh, focal length with the lenses, but light, very important. And uh, international in flavor. International. Uh, our artist for this month is Hakan Strand. He is from Stockholm, Sweden and uh, he's flying in for the show. Very cool. So we're gonna have a really big show. And uh, he has sent me 26 of his pieces, which I am picking up from the framers right after this. Yeah, nice, busy and, man. Yep, and get those hung. Uh, it's all black and white. It's all long exposures. And he still works on film, which is very difficult. It's difficult to do long exposures even with digital, mm -hmm. when you can see what you got. But with film, you gotta know exactly what you're doing because you don't know what you got till you got home. A lot of planning, <laughs> a lot of uh, attention to detail for the setup, and then kind of exactly. cross your fingers, hope it works, exactly. right? Exactly. And most of these shots are, are there around Sweden, mm -hmm. the, uh, the Scandinavian countries. Uh, a lot of them are off a, a set of islands off of the coast there. And so there's a lot of water involved, a lot of stormy skies, mm -hmm. and it's just absolutely stunning. As, as you can see, some of these shots are just unbelievable. The contrast is what he's going for in a lot of these, right? Yes, mm -hmm. the contrast. And the, but the long exposures, you can see how the water has softened out really nice, and, but you still have these strong, dark objects in the water to give the picture uh, uh, some place to go. Well, it's almost Loch Ness in nature with the, uh, <laughs> the humps of the vaunted monster, but uh, these are very, very cool, very artistic in manner as very, well. Very, yes. He is quite an artist, and uh, he's been doing this for a long time now, and we're just, we're really thrilled to have his work in the gallery. He's going to be a permanent artist in the gallery. Oh, and, sweet. Uh, okay. And he will be here Friday night for the Friday night gallery walk at, on the Paseo, and he will be here again on Saturday, the day after, or meet the artist, uh, so anybody that wants to talk to him, ask him questions about how he captures these wonderful images, uh, they can come in on uh, Saturday when it's a little quieter. Learn from the pro, yeah. One on one, mm -hmm. exactly. Uh, of course, this is a great example of the uh, work that you guys put forward all the time. And I, I would imagine with this first Friday, the spring and the fall are big for the Paseo because the weather's a little bit more comfortable and fall for you guys probably a big month, October, right? Yeah, October is, is April and October mm -hmm. are two big months, and we'll generally have close to 4,000 people down there wow. on Friday night, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. He's really a great guy. He was in Sunday. He flew, flew in Saturday night, came down to the gallery on Sunday, so I got a chance to meet him for the first time. From the Oklahoma City studios of KSBI, welcome to Oklahoma Live! 
Oklahoma Television 4 and About Oklahoma, featuring the music of Oklahoma artists, the events that matter to Oklahoma, and all the fun of a daily party. Now, live from the Oklahoma City studios of KSBI, this is Oklahoma Live with guest host Drew Schroeder. Welcome back here to <laughs> Oklahoma Live. We're here with one of our good friends, Glenn Fillmore, Director of Visions of the Paseo in the Paseo Arts District. Yes. Welcome back. Thank you. It's always uh, good it's to have you here. Back. Oh, I love being here. You got a new exhibit getting ready new to start exhibit. out. New exhibit, Hakan Strun from Sweden. Uh, he does all black and white photography. Uh, some of the most amazing photography I've seen. The man still works with film. Really? That's he, rare. Yeah, that's very rare. And he does long exposure. So uh, scenes like this one where the water, it's a water scene, but the water is all smoothed out because it's a very long exposure, yeah. 13, 15 seconds. And just some amazing work, very haunting work. Uh, some of them are very powerful. Wow, that uh, one's great. Yeah, isn't that a great scene? And uh, they're just they're just great. Uh, he uh, flew in uh, this last week. He's going to be here for the opening Friday night. I flew all the way from Stockholm. And uh, he'll be here Friday night for the uh, gallery walk. And then again on Saturday, he'll be there to meet and greet and talk to people about his show. Is this his first trip to Oklahoma or even the United States period? Uh, it's first trip to Oklahoma. Yeah. It'll be his first show in Oklahoma in the Midwest here. Uh, he's done shows in New York and in Los Angeles. And uh, the show in New York, in fact, was at Sotheby's uh, for their annual uh, au uh, art auction wow. and benefit. And uh, he, does, uh, he has uh, his work in galleries all over Europe. He's got it in Italy and France and the Netherlands and, of course, Sweden. And uh, just, just some amazing work. It's when, you do, when you do these uh, exhibits, are, is the art for sale? Yes, or? yes, everything's okay. for sale. And uh, the price points on these are some of the highest I've ever had. Oh, well, <laughs> hey, the man's but, traveling you know, a long the, ways to sell it. Yeah, but he's, he's very popular in, in Europe. And uh, he's done, uh, like I said, a couple of galleries here, a couple openings. Uh, I think the last one he did here was back in 2007, and that was in uh, New York. I love Sotheby's. the black and white pictures. That, that's oh, some of my favorite artwork. Yeah. It really is. Well, and first Friday in the Paseo Arts District, coming up obviously tomorrow. It's always mm -hmm. the first Friday of every month. And people can go around and walk around and see everything, right? You know, there's, there's 20 galleries open down there, and uh, they'll be, all be open uh, tomorrow night from 6 till 10. If the weather's nice, uh, we can expect between two, 3,000 people.